It's market day in Voy, a town on the edge of Kenya's biggest national park and a hot spot for bushmeat. It's illegal to kill wild animals in Kenya, but I'm told bushmeat is on sale here, either from informal butcheries or illegal drinking dens. The Born Free Foundation is in the front line in the fight against poaching. Why are more and more people eating bushmeat? In the last eight months, we've seen prices of staples like flour and wheat go up uh, by almost double. And people are therefore turning for whatever they can find that is free, and that's bushmeat. I'm driving alongside the National Park now. This is an area the size of Wales and notorious for poaching. Born Free volunteers, together with local conservationist Rob Dodson, patrol here, looking for poachers and their snares. How many snares can one poacher lay in a day? I think from my experience, sort of 40 or 50 is probably the upper limit. You can probably get four, five, six animals a day. <laughs> you can see where the snare is here, look. Here's the wire. And you can see the wire is actually anchored onto the tree here. And as the animal tries to pull, it'll, it'll be completely tethered. There goes the radio here. Our advance party have just had a call that an animal is trapped in a snare. We were able to get to it just in time, and although it's frightened, it's actually unhurt, so we can let it go free now. That night, rangers catch two poachers. Next day, one of them, Geoffrey and Tima, agrees to be interviewed. What sort of animals have you been killing? Is it enough to feed your family? After leaving the prison, we hear news of a place where it's possible to buy illegal bushmeat. We pulled into a small cafe just up the road from here. We were told that they do sell bushmeat and we pretended that we were tourists and we wanted to buy some for a barbecue. Martin went in. He was suspicious. This is what he gave me. OK, let's get into the lab. Back in Nairobi, we go to the International Livestock Research Institute to get the results of the DNA tests. Brian, you've tested the DNA of the two samples we brought to you. What are the results? One of the samples was oryx, the East African oryx, and the other one was beef. The oryx is, is a rare species. It is also very big news that it is also being sold as meat. Recently, Born Free carried out extensive research. They targeted informal butcheries, and out of 65 samples taken, 15 turned out to be illegal bushmeat. One man who wants tougher penalties to stop the poachers is the head of the Kenyan Wildlife Service. Now, there are two types of uh, bushmeat trade. There's the one which is subsistence. We can look at as supporting the poor. But what we are dealing with here with are criminal gangs who take probably 10, 20, 100 animals at one go. And those are not really poor people. If you don't tackle this problem, what is it going to mean to the future of Kenya? Kenya's health and economic growth is eternally linked with the health and prosperity of our wildlife. Born Free believes poverty is behind the increase in poaching and says education is the key to solving it. Their mobile cinema unit travels the country, showing the film Mizoga, a drama about poaching. Around 500 people are expected to come and watch. The film is about to start. There's a real party atmosphere here. The children have been waiting for hours in a high state of excitement, and some of the grown-ups have walked nearly five miles to see the show. What did you think of the film? Pushing is not right. Why do you have to conserve wildlife in Kenya? Because we must conserve for the future so that the coming generation can come and see those who are drives. Would you be a poacher? No. As we've seen over the last few days, illegal bushmeat is a complex issue. At the very heart of the problem lies poverty, opportunities to make easy money and poor law enforcement. But yesterday, Thanks to Born Free's mobile cinema unit, we saw a whole village come together. And the message about the threat to wildlife from eating it came across in a very positive way. 